Can you see your crown in the back of you? I have no idea. I don't know the camera angles. I'm just... Are you happy with you? Are you ready? I'm here with you. We are together kumbayaing this out with your... I'm Melanica. excited for today's show. You need some steam. <laughs> <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooklyn. Yes, I'm still Brooklyn. Please don't get us confused. No, please. This show don't. brought to you by the Star Advertiser, also the Office of Elections, Hawaii Cancer Care, City Mill, and Mana Up. All right, our next guest we have known. I, how long have you known her? You've known her longer because you're older. <laughs> how did you guys meet? Through you, probably. There was it, but how long have you known her? Because I'm trying to figure out how long I've known her. I, a lady never dates herself. You don't have to say how many years. A long you, time. Oh, how, how many You've years known her you since high school. I've known her a little after that. All right. Because you're both older than me. Ha! She's a, she's a dear friend to both of us, <laughs> and I wish I saw her more often, but uh, she used to do the news here. Yes, um, a at, beloved. Uh, K, uh, KGMB, or was it at KGMB? K5, KHNL. KHNL, K5. I remember her last cast. Hmm. Did you say that? Did I say last cast? Okay. I showed up on the set and surprised her. Did you really? Yeah, it was awesome, and I have it on tape. Stalker. I still have it on tape. Wow. Uh, but she now does, um, she's now in Southern California. Yes. And she talks to millions of people every morning on Fox's morning. Number uh, two network in the nation. Number two number one. market. It's, it's number one. New York um, is number one. Yeah. LA is number two. Well, Go she ahead. does the number one show. Yes. In California. And it's so great because so many people know her from Hawaii in California. Yeah. Because I get it all the time. People always ask if I know who she is. Um, but she's been a good friend of ours. She just uh, She's done television. She's done TV shows. Yes. Uh, now she can add to her resume. Author. author. Yes. And this book, I got to tell you. You have to get yeah. it. I have one too. Look, it Wonder is, Twin Powers, activate. I don't, I don't really read a lot of books. I have a lot of books, but I don't finish them. And I got this <laughs> yesterday, and I'm already halfway through. Oh. And I sobbed like a baby. Cried. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Maria Kuiban Whitesell. Yes. Hi, girl. How, How are, are you? you? Wow, what an introduction. Did you right? That's the best introduction you'll ever have. Oh, don't encourage him. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I said I already started crying just seeing you guys oh. together. I'm, I oh. miss you so much. I miss you both. I, know. I don't think we've all been together in a while, the three of yeah. us, to see each other. Last yeah. A little cafe, I think, in, um, was it West Hollywood? We all. Yeah. I just saw her. I, I stayed with her in her lovely abode back in February. <laughs> I was staying there. How long have you been in L.A. now? You have, how long have you moved away, I should say? Uh, I've been here for now 20 almost 22 years yep. you guys believe 98 98 right is when you left are you homesick at all of course <laughs> every day are you kidding me every day i'm yeah. homesick i'm trying i'm yeah. still trying to find a way to get back there <laughs> yeah well i you know brooke we've had this conversation brooke and i as many times like are you homesick are you going to get back i said you should do a tv show that's how you get back so we got her a tv show <laughs> oh I he manifested got me a that. Yeah. he got me a tv yes. show okay yeah. yeah okay now she has two tv shows well now he's gonna be bitter <laughs> now he's gonna be bitter but yeah. this isn't about us this yeah. is about you maria so so how does it feel being an author it's pretty wild, actually. It's um, it's a little bittersweet for me because, you know, I really wanted to mark my first book with a different kind of book. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's this book, and I'm really proud of it because I feel like I didn't write it alone. Much like the title of the book, You Can't Do It Alone, I, I really feel like my late husband really helped me write a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So what, what is it about? Well, tell everybody what the book's about. Well, the book is about... Um, Sean, my my late husband and myself and what we went through and really the book was a promise for me to myself to him and also what we went through was um, pretty scary and it, it, there's not much written about it or at least not too many personal stories about brain cancer mm -hmm. and glioblastoma that was uh, the rare kind of brain cancer that he had and there is no cure for it and I didn't really know too much about it and so we I remember researching it a lot and there just wasn't as much available like everything else and so uh, about a year after he died I was reminded of that promise and so I started writing and I thought maybe this book could help other people who is on that journey now 
that is so dark. That road was so scary for us and we had a lot of help. So I yeah. hope it, it's amazing because it, I mean, it's a rare disease and, and, and it's not just for people with that though. It's for people. I mean, it has so many messages in it. It's for anybody that's grieving. Yeah. Really, because grief is yeah. universal. So, you know, everybody goes through a griefing process. The griefing process, grieving process is like everybody goes through, whether it's a divorce or it's a loss of a child or your significant other yeah. or your parent. Yeah. Um, you know, it's what it is. Well, we're going to get into this book. We got we to take a quick break. I know every time we talk, it's so fast, especially when it's fun, right? <laughs> but we're going to talk more about the book. Maria is hanging out with us. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Maria uh, is hanging out with us today, and uh, we were talking about this book. You, uh, you, Everyone has to go and get it. Um, congratulations on all of it even the picture in the back so beautiful <laughs> i tell you i always tell every i always tell my friends maria is the friend that needs to get the crest commercial yeah or the toothpaste commercial because you got the best smile in the he's world he's obsessed with teeth he did this I as am. christy yamaguchi too i love teeth yeah you know, especially if they're weird and even if they're scary. real i love them too the um, wooden ones the fake ones the porcelain <laughs> ones i love them all so so you have you you can't go on a book tour so what have you been doing to promote the book well, like this, you know, it's yeah. really kind of strange, but I think it actually works in my favor because I'm able to talk to, I think, more people this way. I'm I'm kind of bummed because I had this traditional plan of going on a book tour, which yeah. was uh, including Hawaii by the way. Yeah. All these plans to go back home and now it's kind of foiled a little bit. So, it, but it still can happen. I, just I still want to do the big, Yeah, just, yeah. just postponed. Right. Yeah. What's what's the what's the biggest thing you've gotten back or I mean, has anyone said or anything about the book? Well, I mean, Tops is definitely Dr. Oz. Yeah. He's so awesome. So kind to actually read the uh, initial copy, you know, the, the advanced copy. And uh, he said some really nice things about the book. And I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. Um, also, this this amazing woman also wrote a, a blurb for me. Her name is Brooke Lee. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she misspelled a couple of things, but it's really good, though. Oh, it's still, it came from the heart. Oh, thanks, yeah. buddy. She corrects my spelling on everything, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you, Maria. So are you, are you doing the news in the studio or are you doing it from home? She's a meteorologist. Are you, well, it's news. Okay. Yeah, are you doing it from home? I, you know what I am, and a lot of people don't think that I'm at home, but I was, I was really, I had this fantasy. I don't know if you remember, Brooke, but back in the day, I'd say, God, I wish I could just do it from home. You know, yeah, I have a green yeah. screen. Why don't I just do it from home? And so it's another reminder of be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because luckily I do have a guest room and I set up my green screen. The engineers did come from work and they set up the camera and some of the other tech stuff. And now I have been broadcasting from my guest room every day for the last almost three months. Yeah. And how many years have you been doing the show now? I just celebrated my 20th anniversary. Wow, congratulations. That is so crazy. Yes. Like, I mean, that is such a milestone, especially for women yes. in this profession to be, you've outlived them all. You, <laughs> and you and you still look the same you age. You literally from the, are from the day Highlander one. of that Fox network. You've yeah. outlived them all. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Well, you know, being Filipino, yes, yeah. I skin color and yeah, the, I have wrinkles for sure, but not as you know. The Kalamungai, it always works in your guys' favor. <laughs> that Morungai. Tell everybody where you went to school and you grew up. Uh, well, I went to Ia High School. Yeah, Ali'i. <laughs> you right well, on the mainland when you say, "Oh, what school did you go to?" We immediately say our high school. Right, not, right. Uh, our, Nobody cares about college. Yeah. What's, what what year you grad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. High school, not Ali'i, exactly. And and I met you, I met you on the telephone. I didn't meet you in person. That's right. right. That's right. One day when I was feeling really, really sad, I was listening to uh, Lanai at night. That was when I would call you Grant. I still call you Grant now. And she she, still, she still calls you Grant. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. It's, it's weird. I can't. That's yeah, I know. That comes out it's of my fine. mouth when I see it's you. Fine. I don't know why. I don't yeah. know. It's I weird. call you Maria. That's fine. That's her name. So. <laughs> okay. 
So I called, I called Lanai on the phone and I asked him to play me a song and then you kept me on the phone. You're like, oh, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Did you hit on her no, on I-94? No, she was sad. Did you miss the whole beginning of the story? When you were on the radio at this time. Yes. She didn't like call you at your house and be like, play no, me a mixtape. No, she called me on the air because she was sad. That's what I did. I helped people. Wow. I've been around Maria's life through a lot of... Uh, her- Hurdles, you, maybe. Okay, save yeah. it. We need to do a break. Yeah, but I yeah. gotta, you gotta, I can't, I gotta hear this whole thing. All right, don't go anywhere, Maria. Uh, this show, it's a Hawaii thing, brought to you by the Star Advertiser, bringing you what matters. It's Hawaii. Uh, you know, you can now get it digitally, uh, full access subscription, just for nine ninety five a month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on to subscribe. Also, the Office of Elections this year. What do you have to do, Brooke? You go to your mailbox. You go to the mailbox. You have to vote uh, by the mailbox. You can't go to poll. There will be no polls. No one's gonna be there. Uh, if you have any questions, elections.hawaii.gov. Yes. And you can go to 453 Vote if you have any uh, any deeper questions. Hawaii Cancer Care. We've got to say mahalo to them at Hawaii Cancer Care. Your care is top priority. It is. I was lucky enough to get a, my first screening. Oh. And I'm going to go for a full physical. Um, don't fool around with your health, especially no. uh, as you get older. Go and get that treatment. But those guys are awesome. I uh, also want to thank City Mill. You need something, they have it. Everything. Yeah. What do you go there for? Yellow buckets. Nails. Oh, are we playing this game yes. now? Okay, light bulbs. Hammers. A uh, paint. Plumbing. Uh, mango pickers. Flowers. Barbecues. Cement. You get it. They have everything you need. Also, Mana Up. Let's Mana Up. Uh, you can go check them out. Get their full support. Buy online and uh, get their full support with support all their entrepreneurs. Support local entrepreneurs. Yes, Mana Up. So let's Mana Up. Check out their website. Maria Kuiban White Cell is here. Is and it Kuiban or is it Kuban? Kuban. It depends what part of the Philippines you're from. Oh, look at him getting all ala ala. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're you call me on the and uh, you call me at the radio station. You're feeling down, and then what happens? What station is this? Let's be clear. I ninety four. Oh, it is I ninety four days. Okay. Days. Yeah, exactly. And it was like late, late, late at night, right? Remember? Yeah. And all they t- asked him to play me a song, and he was like, "Oh, that's kind of a sad song." <laughs> And so he asked me, oh, where you're from? And I said, I am. Yeah. And he goes, oh, I know people from I am. Yeah. Oh, my family, yeah. Was this all on the air? No, no, we were oh. just talking, right, off the air? Yeah. I think. The- what was the song? Do you remember the song? I don't even remember. I, I, kind of, I think it might have been Journey. I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> sure. No, we don't play Journey. We didn't play Journey. It was like a boys <laughs> to men song or something. <laughs> Why so- were you sad? Because I had just broken up with Desmond's dad, my older yes. son. Oh. Yeah, so I was her comforter. Wow. Yeah. And I even I even got to know Desmond pretty well, too. Way to make it about you. And No, I'm trying to remember all this. That's why mm-hmm. I'm asking. And then how did you meet Brooke? Because we're trying to figure this out. Is I actually met Brooke. She was doing, we, we were uh, doing a fashion show at Ala Moana. And you didn't like her. <laughs> Look at him putting words in your mouth. You didn't like her? I know. I liked her a lot. I think she was still in high school, if I remember correctly. Like maybe senior year in high school. And I'm just a couple years older than Brooke. So so I remember seeing her and she was dancing hula right Uh by Liberty House. Remember those days? (laughs) There's your age. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Because I was Liberty House days and it was a fashion show. And so I was like, hi. And she was oh hi. And... (laughs) He kind of just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> she did it like that too with her shoulder. Whatever. Uh, yeah. That's, and, that's awesome. Okay. So then I never t- I saw, saw her again. And then she won uh, Miss Universe. We were all uh-huh. rooting for her, of course. And by that time, I was working at KHNL, Hawaii News 8. And so I was sent to interview her. Yeah. Uh, oh. She was giving up her crown mm-hmm. in Hawaii. And yeah. so that time we talked a little bit more and then after that so i didn't talk to her after that and then i moved to la and then grant was like or then i was like oh you gotta meet brooke she's up in la and okay. so then we we got together remember that brooke yeah. We- yeah i mean there's a little bit of a caveat because when you left to go to la you like called me and was like i'm leaving you should try and you know, they need someone at KHNL to oh, do you're weather. Trying to give it the new, oh. Yeah, she was like trying to baton toss me, you know, to the thing. And I was like, I don't know how to do weather. She's like, oh, it's easy. You can, yeah, I'll be yeah. set meeting with you with them at the station. And then she's like, bye. And then she left to go to the mainland and become a big star. So Yes, big star that is. Now, what, how do you, do you, I'm obviously you like LA, you got a great job, but the actual living part of LA, as opposed to Hawaii, are you coming home? What's the deal? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, Hawaii will always be my home. You guys, whenever I talk about going home, I always talk about right. Hawaii. LA is a great home too. So if I couldn't live in Hawaii, I would say LA is the next best thing because the yeah. weather is always great. Mm-hmm. Probably easier to forecast weather in LA. I used to joke, yeah. they're like, why would you leave Hawaii and do the weather here <laughs> instead of there? I was like, well, it was actually easier to do weather here. It was harder yeah. in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> we had hurricanes and everything ask, else. Ask Guy Hagi. He'll yeah, tell you. Yeah, of course. You don't have any memes, do you? Like, <laughs> Do you have any memes on you about weather? Not no, because she doesn't lie. <laughs> I don't think so, but I feel bad for Guy. Guy trained me in the beginning. You know? that's, oh, that's right. right. That's yeah. so funny. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you doing any acting things? Are you, do you still go on auditions? You know, I just... Uh, she doesn't have to audition. They just give her the roles. <laughs> they just call you. They do. They literally do. They're like, hey, we need somebody to do this, right? Am I making this up? Anything on Fox. Yeah, no, they, they, they know who I am at this point, most yeah. most casting people. And if they need somebody to do like a news person's part, um, uh-huh. they'll call and see if I'm available. I honestly haven't done anything lately. It's just life has been really busy for, for good things, you know, for the yeah. last five years, it's been like super busy. Yeah, I know. I've been watching your social media. Yeah, well, and here's the thing with her is she can't be here in Hawaii. So she literally recreated Hawaii in her house yeah. where she lives, in, where you live. Like she tour like i don't know if it was a vision board from like kailua meets (laughs) kaimuki but like it literally her house it just oozes like just hawaii you have a pool you're missing sand right pineapples that are everywhere it's like yeah there's pineapples (laughs) should bring in some sand that's actually a great idea Sand. you're not supposed to steal the sand i was told yeah don't you don't steal it but you gotta get it from a certain place yeah okay yeah i can just get sand Get it from Mexico. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, Maria. We're going to talk about all, um, your some of your Hollywood connections. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Maria Cuiban White Sail is hanging out with us today. I don't know why. You just have to, I always say Maria Cuiban. Yeah, he can't. He can't. Yeah, just like how you call me by some other guy's name. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to go get her book, ladies and gentlemen. It's an awesome book. It just came out. And um, you're How doing you amazing things. I bought it. I bought like three, I think. Like from where? Amazon. And you got yours before mine? I just got mine. Yeah, well, I, they know me at Amazon. Whatever. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> you're going to have to sign mine whenever I see you next. Get an autograph. If you bought it from Amazon, you have to leave a review. and give me. Oh, oh I will. Okay. I, I'll, of course, like I'll leave a Yelp, review. Like Yelp, but for books. Okay, yeah, got I'll it. leave you a review. Okay purchase if you actually bought it from there yeah so what, what do you do when you're not doing television i know you you're doing stuff with gus but what do you like to do what do i like to do um that's a really good question you know we have a family therapist which i'm a big proponent of of counseling and she uh-huh. always asks me am i doing something for myself and self-care is really important and so that's something i'm working on i haven't really done too many things for myself I would like to go to Hawaii and yeah. spend a week just doing nothing. That's that's my goal. Yeah, that's that's the, well, we'll have to do it soon. Now's a good time. No, no, that's a good time not to do not it right to now. Come now. Yeah. What? Well, how are you uh, doing the whole lockdown thing? How's that going? Um, you know, to be honest, it's kind of hard because, or it has been hard because we've had to be by ourselves and when you are missing someone and all you have is yourself and your kid, um, oh. it gets, it gets a little extra sad sometimes. So for those of you that are kind of in the same boat as me, um, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you reach out and thank God for technology because without it, um, it would be so much worse. So you're welcome to I- zoom us whenever you want. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but now things are starting to um, open up a little bit. So yeah. I think we're going to go out to um, to get some crepes. We're going to go out to dinner uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. So that'll be nice. Nice. Now, I wanted to be, we took a break, but I wanted to talk about some of your Hollywood connections. Who have you met that's been interesting because they come into your studio every morning? Oh, you meet everybody. You, yeah. Who is somebody that's like, uh, wow, in awe of? Oh, yeah. Um, Gosh, who? There's so many. Where you do you meet want? so many? Give people. us a few. Um, the latest person that came in that I really loved was um, was Kevin Costner. He was oh. really awesome. Yeah, he was super nice. His wife came with him, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, 
I would go too. <laughs> uh, but no, they were super, super nice. Um, who else was there? Uh, oh God, I haven't been there in three months, so yeah. I can't. It's so, it's so, it seems like you're there every day. Good job you're fooling all of us that you're there every day. Yeah, but you let people know because you know how they got upset at what's her name on that other, that morning person. Remember, she was like saying she was in New York, but she was really in the Caribbean. <laughs> I know, I didn't hear that one. Yeah, so oh. people got upset because she was lying. But you don't lie, you tell people where you are because Gus comes on the show. Gus is like a new. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's my stage manager. Yeah. <laughs> see, because I, I only see what you put up on social media. Like you put your weather on social media, so I don't see the whole banter between well, that. If you really follow me, then you see all the behind the scenes stuff. That, That's that right, Grant. Yeah. Well, you used to, I know, I watch. She's like, <laughs> which shoe should I use? You know, I know she does. She did. <laughs> right? It's, which shoe should I use? Um, so you meet all these people coming through. Have you, have you uh, dated any big Hollywood wow, stars? Wow, he really is walking into this. He's have really... you, by what? Dated any big Hollywood celebrity. <sighs> I'm sorry. I told him a couple of the people you've dated. And no, I know. I, I w there was one of them that I'd like to talk about that uh, you called me about when you started dating him. What? Yeah. I did? Yeah. The comedian, the funny guy. Oh, God. <laughs> we, we can't talk about that? You know what? Here's the thing. Um, I've met a bunch of people in L.A. And because of my job and doing so, so we we cross paths, right? So there were a couple of people that I have gone out on dates with. Let's, yeah, that's what I mean. Let's be clear. I didn't say you got a relationship with. Yeah, well, well, when people say, "Oh, you dated so and so," sometimes yeah. it can be mean, misconstrued. Yeah. yeah. Who did you go on a date with? So I went to dinner twice. This was years ago. Years, yeah. years and years and yeah, years yeah. and years. Um, Jim Carrey was one. Yeah. yeah. How was he? Um, he is really funny. <laughs> Was he? Is he more funny in person? <laughs> he's, he's basically himself that you see in a lot of those movies. He was pretty kooky, actually. Really funny in a good, kooky, crazy. Because that could get tiring. How, well, you would know because you're a funny guy and ask any girl that's dated you. But um, how does one meet Jim Carrey is my question. Oh, well, that was one of those things. Because there was no Tinder yet. You didn't have a Tinder account she yet. She don't do Tinder. She's a lady. <laughs> Somebody has asked me about that. It's actually in the book. Like, people ask me, well, are you ready to go out on a date? Are you dating? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I just, I guess I'm not well, ready. Just, you're going to have to find out when we give you the extra podcast because we're going <gasps> to wrap it up right here. So Ooh. go to our website, Hawaii. Uh, it's a Hawaii thing dot com and you can get the rest of this podcast. Thank you so much, Maria, for joining Thanks us. Thanks for being here. We love this you. This book, go and get it. Go it is amazing. Uh, you can't do it alone. We want her on Oprah. Go yes. buy the book. We love you. Number one best selling. You take book. care, Maria. We love you. Mwah. Mahalo. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, we got Maria here hanging out with us and we were talking about uh, her book. These, we were talking about her book. We were talking about this somebody she was dating. We're but still there was talking another about guy. Book. There was another guy that I want to know about um, that Brooke mentioned. Batman. You <sighs> were dating Batman. She went on a couple dates with Michael Keaton. Let her tell the story because yours is all wrong. <laughs> no, she's right. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke totally knows me so, so well. We used to hang all the time. She literally lived right down the street. Uh, I met, I met, uh, I think the best Batman personally. Um, Why? <laughs> I, I really liked his performance as Batman. So it was Michael Keaton. Uh -huh. uh, I met him on a movie. Uh, I can't remember now the name of that movie and they're real gentlemen. I mean, the, the few people that I have gone out to dinner a couple of times with, they wait like a long period of time after the movie's done and released and all that. And then they call and they go, Hey, uh, you remember? Da, da, da. And so, uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Um, he said, do you remember me? <laughs> what? He called and said, do you remember me? He called you and said, do you remember me? Yeah. He was like, do you remember me? We were worked on this movie together. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you're Batman. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> of course she remembered you. That's awesome. Anyway, no, he said, do you remember me? Not me. I know. That's what I mean. Like, And you were like, yeah, you're a Batman. He was playing the Anyway, I was trying part. to be funny, but it didn't work it out did at all. At all. Do you like the Hollywood scene? Do you go to these parties at all? 
No, you know, when I first moved here, uh, I did go to a few and that was exciting. But it's like after a while, it becomes the same as yeah. everywhere. I'm, I miss my Hawaii friends and the the Hawaii food. And you know me, Brooke, I like my, my rice and fried chicken zip pack <laughs> and fried noodles. Where's the first place you go to eat when you come home? Is it Zippy's? Brooke, what did you bring for me when you came to visit me? <laughs> In February, I literally carried a zip pack on the plane for her. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I did. Because that's what friends do. Yeah. And that, is, that, is that what you crave for? Is that the first thing? It's the first place I go to. When I get off the plane in Hawaii, whenever I go to Hawaii, I literally will go to Zippy's and get a surf pack or a zip pack. Nice. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Is there anything else that you would like to do with your career? I mean, you just finished this book, I know, but is there anything on your your dream board that you're you're gonna do? Oh wow, um, you know the the thing I've learned over the last few years is I I'm just trying to get through one day at a time, and uh, I don't think too far in the future just because I want to savor every moment. And so right now, I'm really just enjoying being an author and wherever this book leads me whether it's traveling to different parts of the world which is what i would like to do that is my dream and that always was my dream with sean was to travel so maybe this book will let me travel again and i'll bring gus i've always wanted to go back to the philippines yeah show gus um cebu where i was born and so yeah. I, that's on my short list so i really want to do that so maybe i can go with lanai on one of his travels i'm gonna bring you oh, he will. We, we be talking about it we i gotta always get say you there. he's like the moses of filipinos <laughs> moses but you you know you could go there and do a couple things of work and then be a superstar <gasps> and then go go home and still be a superstar forever and then go back you know two weeks and do it again you know, okay let's how, do it let's make it happen yeah you, Brooke and Joe Coy, which I never he never offers it to me because I'm not Filipino. So <laughs> it's cool. I'll sit on the bench. It's fine. <laughs> no, I don't offer it to her because she's not Filipino. I, every time I offer her something, I can't get anything. I'm sorry. Am I sitting across the phone yeah, from you right now? I don't know. Yeah. Maria, I've offered. Can you be on my wine bottle? No. He asked you, you to be on the wine bottle too. Yeah, I did. She you said no too. Everybody. I couldn't afford it. I just asked my friends. Guy, look me in the eye. I'll be on your bottle. I'm going to put you on the bottle. I'm going to put you on the bottle. Brooke's not going to go on the bottle. I already said it was going to be a conflict of interest. With what? Mormonism. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. She don't even so drink soda. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. There's some things that she can do to be a Mormon and some things she can't. I don't understand it that It works part. in my favor. It really does. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously it does. Yeah. So um, when you when you do miss home, when do you what do you do when you miss home? Do you go watch a, a episode of Hawaii Five O? What is it that you do? <laughs> well, I do. You know what? I just did it this morning. I go to my Pandora, and I put my playlist on. And today I listened to Willie K. The Willie. Oh K. yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So sad. We miss, we're going to miss him for a long, long time. But your mom them just came back into town, so you have a little bit more of a, the Hawaii vibe in your house because she can cook. She can cook Filipino food. Listen, I just had, um, uh, what do you call it, lechon koale. So oh. Chicken adobo. She made, she made the chicken adobo, but we ordered in the koale. <laughs> yeah. Do, is there a Filipino restaurant you go to in L.A.? There's some, yeah, for sure. I got to go all the way to Cerritos for the really good Filipino food. That's where uh -huh. a lot of Filipinos live. Or Glendale. And now there's a couple of Filipino fast food restaurants in Koreatown, which you know about, um, both of you. Jollibee. Uh, Jollibee. No, you have to go to Mamsur in Silver Lake. It's fancy. Hipster food. Oh, yeah. That's on my list. I remember I, now. Yeah. I want to I want to introduce you to the chef and somehow you guys have to do something on the morning show when you guys have guests again. OK. Yeah. Silver Lake. That's a real hipster part of town. Yeah, yeah that's where I used to live. All right. We're going to we're going to do some um, some questions and you just first thing that comes to your mind, you would just answer them. Oh, OK. I don't know about this either. So you're hearing it the same way. You're going to yeah, I'm going to do you a question. Start. You're going to do a question yeah, and we'll just go back and forth. Sure. All right. Um, Go. What do you? What's your favorite cocktail? What's my favorite what? Cocktail. What's your favorite drink? Oh, cocktail. Oh, um, I'm easy. I'll have a glass of 
uh, Pinot Noir. But I, a lot of Pinot I Noir. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first job you had when you were here in Hawaii? Like, not even in TV. Tell everybody where you used to work. Oh, my very first job, like at a location? Yes. Oh, my God. I'll never forget. It was at the mall in Pearl Ridge. And I worked at the Athlete's Foot. It was a shoe store. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> yeah. I was actually 15. And you're, I don't know, for some reason, you were supposed to be 16 to work for the company. And the manager was like, he kind of like overlooked my, my age. And he just, he hired me. <laughs> I didn't know Pearl anything Ridge. about shoes. Really? <laughs> Wait, I bet you sold a lot of shoes. I did. I still see. Have. What's your favorite place to visit in the world? Besides uh, Hawaii. Oahu. Oh, besides Hawaii? Yeah, we know that for a fact. What's your second place favorite place to go in the world? Oh, hmm. I would have to say I just now discovered Sicily in Italy because my one of my really good friends live oh, uh, right. there. I know. So I went I went there last year for her birthday and Sicily, if you guys don't know, is like a little small town in southern part of Italy, and um, it's beautiful. So beautiful. my gra- my grandmother is from there. No, she's not. I promise to Jesus. My grandmother, my father's mother, is is uh, they Italian. They were like lost Filipinos. No, she oh. met my grandfather in New York because she was a waitress. And You're my part Italian. Yeah, my grandfather. That's the white the white in me. And You're anyway, right. I went for the first time, Maria, to Sicily. Um, Two Novembers ago. Sicilians are not white. Yeah, this one is. Okay. Dark. No, there are Sicilians that are super dark. But yeah, they're on an island, yeah. 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 They have great vineyards over there, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yes. For that Pinot Noir. I drank a lot of wine there. Next oh. question. Oh, um, who is your favorite beauty queen that you've ever known in the what whole What the hell? This universe? isn't a question. She Listen. knows a lot of beauty queens. She's Filipino. She's going to say you. I've met a lot of beauty queens. I have. And I got to say, hands down, it's that yeah. that one right there. People, people mix us up. Haven't that been a thing? Like, they think I'm her and they think she's me. Oh. Like, we get mixed up. I've heard that before. Yeah. Oh my I've God. My mom's before. always like, oh, where's the beautiful Miss Universe? She always asks me, where's <laughs> she doing today? <laughs> you should bring them upstairs right now. Where, it's where's too everybody? Far. Like their her house is huge. Oh, it's another acre. <laughs> They're an acre away. You need a golf cart to yes, get there. Yes, you do actually. No, oh, no. Right. Listen, it, this is the room above the garage, so I literally have to go out and like and around and yeah. past the pool and through the secret passageway, and it's like a whole thing. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, and I you was know what? Looking forward to this. Good luck with the book. I can't wait to see you on Oprah. We're going to make that happen. Yeah. Because if Dr. Oz knows her, hello, you, she created him. You have a lot of, I mean, Lisa Gibbons said nice things about you, um, Dr. Oz. I mean, a lot of great people, um, but it's an awesome book. Like, again, I'm not just because you're my friend. It really touches some nerves. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. <laughs> And he texted me. He's like, I'm crying. I'm already crying. <laughs> I'm crying already. I, I texted Maria, too. and She didn't respond for like two days. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't. I'm like, oh, my God. He texted me this long, long thing. And it started with I'm, I'm sobbing. I'm bawling. No. I'm like, oh. Look, I'm, I'm tearing up right now just thinking about it. But thank you so much. Congratulations on everything. We're always proud of you, Maria. Give our love to your parents. And tell and Gus we said hi. We love you all. All right. Aww, we're you. sending you a bunch of stuff. I'm yes. not even joking. We're sending you a all basket. Please enjoy. Of, your mom uh, then will be so happy. A basket of, oh, of snacks wait. and stuff. Arare, all of it. All of it. It's coming your way. All right. You take care, okay? Love you. I love you. Love you. Bye bye. It's a 